Phil, can I ask you, Phil, well, you, you are you. so, you listen to Brett and, and I watch your show and I hear you listen to people <clears> and you're able to pick out, you know, moments and things. Have you yourself ever had to deal with a, an addiction to, to a drug or alcohol or anything? Well, I've had to deal with it in this sense. My father was a really bad alcoholic. And when I say bad alcoholic, I mean, uh, he had Wednesday afternoons off and every Thursday morning I had to not go to school cause I had to go find the car. Mm. Uh, it was somewhere in Kansas city. I had to go find it. And it was a kind of situation where, uh, you know, you'd come home and he had ripped the, uh, vent hood, uh, off of the <laughs> range in the kitchen and used it to knock all the windows out of the house. Mm. And, um, I can remember as far back as we lived in Denver when I was in the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. And, you know, when you have an alcoholic father, uh, particularly one that's really uh, animated and volatile when they're drinking, you just don't bring friends home, you know, because you never know right. if you're going to walk in and all the windows are kicked out of the house or right. whatever. And I remember one night walking up to the house and it was February and it was cold out. I, was, I saw something in the driveway and it was pretty windy. So I figured something had blown up and I had some friends with me and we were going to walk past my house to another friend's house. And in my driveway, my dad was laying there in his underwear with his pillow. He was hot in, in the house laying in bed. So it just made perfect sense to him. He got up in February in Denver and went outside and laid down in the driveway with his pillow and he was asleep out there. Um, so I, I grew up with all of that. And, and I, I made the decision real early on, I just wasn't going to do it. And so I, I haven't had a drink since high school. I decided, I tried to get drunk once in high school and I'll be damned. I got hung over while I was drinking. <laughs> it was, I mean, it wasn't like you got at least a little while you, you have some fun and then you get hung over. I, it, I drink a beer and feel like I got hit in the head with an ax. Now, of course it was hot beer and it was in the trunk at school. Uh, so I didn't give it probably a fair test, which was okay, but I, I, I just never been, I've never been able to get drunk. And I guess that's a good thing because oh, I, I haven't had a drink for 50 years. I just, just, I saw what it did to him and what it did to our family. And it was so disgusting to me. I just never, never wanted to have anything to do with it. Yeah. 